In this video, we are going to see some details about the methodology used in writing a research article or a project or a thesis. Now let's see the problem identification and formulation in a research. Research is a term used liberally for any kind of investigation that is intended to uncover interesting or new facts. It is a search for knowledge that is a discovery of hidden truths. It is a logical and systematic search for new and useful information on a particular topic. Research is an organized endeavor. Like any other organized work, research requires proper planning. Planning means deciding in advance. Planning of research means deciding the question or issue to be studied, setting the objectives of the study and determining it means achieving those objectives. It is an intellectual process. It gives direction to the work. A researcher spends a great deal of time defining a research idea into a testable research problem. Process of defining a research problem are define a specific problem area, review relevant scientific literature, examine the problem's potential significance to the area, and pragmatically examine the feasibility of studying the research problem. Research has to be an active, diligent and systematic process of inquiry in order to discover, interpret or revise facts, events, behaviors and theories. The techniques or the specific procedure which helps the researchers to identify, choose, process and analyze information about a subject is called research methodology. It is the path through which the researchers need to conduct their research. It is the systematic theoretical analysis of the methods applied to a field of study. It is a way to systematically solve the research problem. The first and the most important step of a research is identification of a research problem. It is very crucial for a researcher before conducting a research. Much time must be allotted to think and rethink the choice of a research topic. The subject or the topic must make the researcher to be engaged throughout the research and writing. Library materials and other print and electronic information resources must be consulted to refine the topic. The amount and depth of research required and the type and length of the research expected must be made sure in advance. Then the topic chosen is to be investigated or analyzed descriptively and experimentally. The research problem also has an important social function. The selection of an appropriate research problem out of the identified problems requires evolution of those alternatives against certain criteria. The problem should be challenging and the researcher must have some sort of interest in the research problem. The researcher must be competent to plan and carry out the study of the research problem. The problem should possess novelty. The problem must be a new one to be analyzed. It should have a significant contribution to the concerned body of knowledge and relevance. The principal component of formulating a problem is originating questions such as who, what and why the research of a chosen problem is needed. The problem formulation is like an identification of a destination before undertaking a journey. Certain components are there to be followed to formulate the research problem. Once a problem is chosen, the research question must be formulated and it will lead the research direction. From a research question, a hypothesis can be formulated. A suitable title for the research must be provided. The conceptual working tool has to be followed. Objectives must be framed and defined clearly. Certain investigative questions must be set and solution can be analyzed and explored. The best selection and formulation of a research problem will solve many identified and unidentified problems. In our next video, we can see the second part of the problem identification and formulation of a research in a very detailed manner. Kindly watch all these videos and leave your valuable comments. 
till now in this video we have seen some details about the problem identification and formulation in a research in an elaborate manner hope you would have understood it very clearly thank you for listening